What's up, everybody? Welcome! Today I'm working on elemental effects, armors and stuff like that. Like, check it out. I just, like, I got the debug situation set up here where I can test out stuff pretty quickly. So, I gave um, this boss some ice effects, so he can, whenever I hit, get hit by him, I get hit by ice. And then also, um, right now I got an ice heal flag on him, so he gets healed every time I hit him with ice. So... Um, yep, I just finished Ice Resistance, Ice Weakness, and Ice Healing. Now I'm going to start with, like, Fire, and then it'll be Lightning, and Acid, and Fear. So, simple stuff. Uh, this is going to be super cool. Add a really, like, deep layer to the game, so very excited about this. I hope everything's running okay here. We got audio. Sound looks like you guys got audio. Yes, okay. All right, all right. Okay, next up is going to be fire then. So I'm going to give him a fire effect. I'm also going to give him, let's start with fire. I'm going to start with regular. Okay, so when you get hit with fire, when any entity gets hit with fire, it does this where it creates a damaging fire entity. And uh, plays the ignite sound. Possibly emits an item, makes the thing turn black. Makes it invincible to fire for a second. Opens secret entrances. Here we go, here's the HP Delta. So this is where we want to apply our weaknesses and all that. Um, HP Delta equals Oh, I already did all this. Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'll just test it real quick. Basically, fire heal swaps your HP delta, so you just you gain health. Um, fire weak makes you, whoa, you do a lot more damage, or it takes a lot more damage. Resistance, you take like half the damage, so let's check all that. HP delta shifted up one? That's it. What? Oh, oh, that works. Okay, it's HP Delta plus HP Add. Okay. Brobot, what's up, man? How you doing today? Oh, I gotta give myself the Fire Sword, too. So this is, this is like kind of the ultimate debug situation for debugging these elements, is using the, using the Ghost Sword to transfer the element to the enemy and then just putting the that element or whatever on the enemy. So did I give him fire? Hold on a second. I don't think I I'm not sure if I gave him fire. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay, he's got fire. No flags right now. So he should do normal damage hit by the fire. And I should take normal damage hit by the fire. So let's see. <clears throat> Oh wait, no, I have fire armor. Yeah, I have, I have Shadrax tier, so I'm not gonna take as much damage as normal. Okay, but he should take normal damage. He takes 82, 81, 80, 79, 70. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. This is like a, I forgot how cool fire is, because if you hit an enemy. How come we got fire there? Such a rad. I forgot how powerful fire can be. Okay, so I'm gonna get hit with fire. Okay, I got hit with it. So wait, hold on. Negative, what was that? It's really hard to see. Negative two, it might have been. It just says minus. Why is it just saying minus? That's weird. I have fire resistance right now. So it should be... The HP delta I think is supposed to be negative. Um, oh, whatever the entity is. 
Oh, but if it's negative. I'm not sure if shifting up one. That just times two. Because that means if it's negative. Oh yeah, HP delta is going to be negative for sure. So it's negative two or negative two times whatever it is, plus the add. I don't know, let's do a little anims debug alert about this. I'm not sure why the character is not showing it clearly. What's up, Teak? How you doing today, Teak? Percent point one F. Lots oh, in it. Never mind. Like that percent D. Okay, so now that should clearly show how much damage is doing. What's up, Boger Shud? How's it going? Working on elemental effects today. A little bit sleepy though. Okay, so that did negative one when it hit him. Let's see how much. That was also negative one. So with resistance. What's up, Bazinris? Okay, so if I take off resistance, if I have no fire armor. Low. Still in this negative one? Oh, because it adds. Oh, uh, yeah, it adds. It adds a little bit because the fire entity, you can hit, you can be hit by it multiple times. That's why it kind of fire resistance doesn't really affect the, the, the fire armor doesn't really affect that that much. So. That's okay. It's going well. Nice, man. Yeah, so I'm just working on these elemental effects. So like if you have if you have fire armor, it, it should take less damage or whatever. But fire is kind of a tricky element in that it creates it creates an entity that has fire, so you can be hit by it multiple times. So it's each one of these elements is kind of unique in how it should be handled. It's it's um so there's like there's four different ways you can interact with five different elements. So there's, but for so for each element, you can be weak to the element, which means you should take more damage or more duration of it. Uh, you can resist it, which means like half the damage or whatever. Um, and then there's healing, where you could be healed by it. So like, you know, and like for example, the fire boss would have fire healing, and then if you hit it with fire, it actually heals the boss. Um, and then there's invincibility where you're just not even affected by that element at all. So there's all those, and I'm just making sure they all work here. And this is really, I hope this really adds a really dynamic feeling to the game with each enemy kind of having its own unique elements that it's weak or strong to. And then you've got also got all these different armors you can find in the game which make you strong or to those elements. So this should be pretty interesting to play this once it's all finished. <clears throat> okay, so I tested that. Oh, let's test out. So if the the fire boss has fire resist, also this is not going to do that much. Cuz it's already doing the minimum damage. Okay, fire resist. Let's make him fire weak though. That should do double it or more damage. Oh yeah, so now it's doing two for each one of those hits. Sweet, that's cool. Um, let's do fire heal. So now you should just get healed by it.
Free parking hazardous. Oh, uh, this healing's not working. Probably because the fire entity itself isn't actually fire. Hmm. How do I convey that? This is going to change things a little bit. <laughs> Dang, Hazardous. Whoa. YouTube videos go full screen if you just press F? I never knew that. I wonder how this seeds command works. Top 10? What? No top 10? I think it's, what's the, is it, what's it called? Oh, it's just seed. That's a new command. Oh, there's leaderboard. There you go. Night res. There we go. Azarus, number three. <laughs> you want to be number one? You're like, it's not good enough for me. Number three. So here's where it creates this, it creates a damaging fire entity, create fire. How can I make it so the fire entity doesn't spawn, I don't want it to spawn any more fire. I just want it to have fire. Shot neutral, filter none. Hmm. Oh, KO pause of play? I never knew that. Teak! Oh, you only got 480 points. You deserve free parking. So this is using auto entity light. Oh man, I can't. I think it's zero light. There we go. Profile fire. Oh, that would be one way. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I could check the profile name. Yeah, belligerent. That's a good point. I do that all the time. I'm always. I always get hit with that. I'm like spacebar. Whoops. <laughs> the game of snake. <laughs> really? Okay, this is kind of a almost a hack here. But it's not really not really too much of a hack. So, um, so I'm gonna make this damaged damaged by a fire entity, but don't spread the fire elsewhere, basically. So the entity being damaged has to have K filter fire and then the changer dot profile. Shift space curls up? Wow, all these sweet keyboard shortcuts. I I didn't even know. Oh. 
oops, equals fire. This is the part that kind of seems like a hack, but I think this will this will do. Okay, so this is where we want to do. like adjust the HP delta. If the entity has fire heal, just do healing. You have to move your hand for that. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Fire weak. So fire weak, let's do another negative or negatives, another negative point two five. Fire resist. HP delta plus constants HP zero point two five. Between HP delta and negative one. This could just be plus one here. And then we can show what the HP delta is. Actually, we shouldn't need to. Okay, so this time I'll hit them with the fire, and as he keeps on getting hit by the fire. Wait, what did I do here? Oh. Right? No? Where did I, oh, here we go. Jeez, see? This is the kind of stuff I do when I'm tired, sleepy. Little tiny buggy mistakes like this. All right, I need to see the drop boss again. Yeah, he's got fire heal. Okay, oh, this time he should be healed. Even by the fire entity that's sitting there, he'll just be healed, healed, healed. Hmm. Oh yeah, he started gaining back health. But why did he lost health at first? That's so weird. What? It's so weird. Like he he loses health and then gains health? I don't get it. Why does that happen? Wait, wait, wait. Heal. I know this is kind of overly pragmatic because I just checked that HP alt is less than zero. This is totally unnecessary. Hmm.
That time, that time he just lost health the whole time. Oh, and it's not doing the NMs. Oh, there, finally did it. What? Is it because of the order? What's up, good morning? Wild Shat? Dragon Slayer? Wild Shat? That's the best name? Okay, so I'm, I'm making elemental effects today, so you can be like weak to fire, healed by fire, resistance to fire, but I'm, I'm encountering something kind of crazy here where um, you should be damaged by, or you should be healed by this fire entity, but you're not being healed by this fire entity at all. Okay, here's where the drop boss is being hit by the fire. Where we create a fire entity. Wait a minute, what? What just happened there? I like tried to step over some code and it threw me back to the beginning. I don't get it. There's something funky going on here. HP Delta less than zero, what's that? It's just checking if it's doing damage. So HP Delta greater than zero would be something that's healing. HP less than zero would be something that's doing damage. Okay, here we go. The first one, I'm gonna do this slower this time. We create the fire entity. Schedule this invincibility. Uh, the HP Delta becomes healing oh okay so when it comes out of this when it comes out of this function I think what will happen is it'll so it's gonna clamp its health what's its health right now 84, that's not gonna be able to do anything, but it would be trying to add two to his health. So that's gonna become, yeah, same thing. Whoa, which means I think the next tick, it might not even, so here's the next tick. 
Yeah. Okay. So it. Oh. Okay. Feed yourself. I think he's got enough points. I think the command is points. Is that right? No. Oh yeah, Bafu's got 18 points. He needs more points. There you go, Bafu. Give out some free parking. Okay, because the HP Delta wasn't... It needs to be at least negative one. I think. <laughs> Give it one point. Uh, what? I want to post? Did it, was it autocorrect? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about commenting this part out, basically. And then allowing all of the fire resistance and weakness and stuff like that to happen here where this damaging entity is supposed to be doing its thing. But I'm concerned about this. Wait, no, no, the ice does it fine. I think. Let's see what happens that time. <laughs> oh. All right, all right. Create this fire entity. Okay, so it's just going to return from this method with an HP delta of negative two. All right, here's where it should be damaged by the entity. This changer should be fire. Good. Okay. Oh, it didn't work. What entity is this? It's the drop boss. Why did this why did this line of code not work here? You should have the collision mask fire. Changer, I just checked changer.profile.profile uh, profile, uh, title. Oh, HP Delta, what's that? Negative one. What? That was so curious. Oh, oh, here's the problem. He's invincible to fire for a whole two seconds. Aha. Aha. Yes. Now we're on to something. Making this fire behave as it should. Anti fire duration. This should either be zero.
what should this be? Anti fire. Maybe at least a point one or two seconds. But other than that, it should allow this. Two seconds times point eight oh eight one point six one six getting this code straight. Getting out the magic numbers, making this behave correctly. This is a tricky one. It's probably one of the trickiest elements because it creates a separate L entity. Oh, let's see here. Open delay. Man, whenever I stream, it's like, you know, it eats up a lot of CPU and GPU doing the streaming and then indexing and compiling and linking. It's just so slow. But especially indexing. New Xcode 8 indexing is slow. And it doesn't really improve the, the autocomplete speed that much. They said it would. They're like, oh. Xcode 8 is significantly faster. It's not true. Okay, there, he's being hit by it at least this time. Let's see what happens the second time he gets hit by it. So first time, second time, that's the pillar, pillar, drop boss, here we go, HP delta is negative one, okay good, this time at least it did this, so HP delta is supposed to heal, It'll become. Oh, dude. Oh, oh, dude. Seriously, this is one of those mistakes you make when you're tired. Look at this. Anybody spot what I did wrong here? This always makes it negative instead of flipping it. This should just be like that or just negative. Okay. Okay. So now you should get healed from the fire. Okay, he's getting hurt by it initially, though. But that it's kind of okay, because you're getting hit by the Ghost Sword for that hit. Alright, but I'm concerned. I'm actually kind of concerned about the Fire Boss, because the Fire Boss leaves this trail of fire everywhere he goes. So the Fire Boss could be healing himself. Like, like if I set the Fire Boss... Oh my god.
Oh, it's game show today. Game show's killing it. Oh, stupid game show. Maybe because I upgraded it recently. <sighs> I hate it when streaming software does this. Eats up <laughs> eats up 150% of the CPU. Lame software. Why can't you just work? It's got two helpers as well. You know what? I'm going to freaking send a screenshot of this. I'm tired of this kind of stuff. I'm writing them a letter. All right. Fire boss. Let's make him flags. Fire heal. So the fire should heal him. What's game show? That's the that's the software I use to stream. So it, it's in the background encoding video, you know. It's usually pretty good. Usually it's like it's like sitting there at about 50% of CPU, which is okay. I can still stream. I mean, I can still develop. I can still, you know, code and Xcode, but when it starts eating up 150% of the CPU, I can't even code. I can barely run the game sometimes. It's like, what? And usually what happens is if it gets stuck in this loop or whatever where it's using 150% of CPU, it won't ever heal itself. It's just stuck that way. So for the rest of the stream, it's going to be like this. It's not a new thing. It's kind of done this off and on. But every kind of every kind of streaming software I've ever used does this sometimes for occasionally. Uh, OBS, well, I've only used OBS in this software, but OBS does it too. Or at least it used to when I used it. So I don't know what to do. Game show works the best so far. All right. Um... Going to the fire boss's room and then just making sure the fire boss doesn't heal himself. Like, he'll be like a perpetually healing boss. Which actually might happen. Well, he should leave a trail. Oh, so maybe not because he's leaving a trail behind himself. Oh, no, he's, he can't be hurt by fire. Ah, uh, yeah, I see he's not even being touched by the fire. But I kind of wish he would be healed by it. Okay, this is kind of an experiment here, but this is going to make fire spread to him as well. Which could be really weird. I don't know what's going to happen now. So the fire boss drops all this fire, and also this fire can spread on him, so that's... This is like a total experiment. Why is it not spreading? Huh. Game show, you're killing it. You know what? I think I'm going to restart game show. This is not cool. So, okay. So anyways, I'm going to restart the stream. I'll be right back. Just hold on. And sorry for people on YouTube. This is going to be the end of today's YouTube video. I'm going to do the rest of today's stream as a just stream only. So I'll be right back, guys.